We may occasionally find ourselves dealing with lethargy. But the results might be severe if it develops into a habit. However, regrettably, many people have allowed indolence to turn into a habit that they are now finding difficult to overcome, and they, or maybe you, wonder what it takes to overcome it. Your hope is still alive, though. Every issue has a solution, but only if we are exposed to the right knowledge. Today, I want to share with you an incredible Japanese technique for overcoming laziness. This technique is called Kaizen. So, what exactly is Kaizen? Well, it's a combination of two Japanese words, Kai, meaning change, and Zen, meaning good. Together, they represent the idea of continuous improvement. Thus, in order to overcome our obstacles to laziness and support the development of a productive and disciplined mentality, Kaizen advises us to concentrate on taking tiny steps towards our goals every day rather than trying to make massive changes all at once or overwhelming ourselves with big responsibilities or tasks. This Japanese technique helps us to concentrate on segmenting our activities into smaller, more manageable pieces as we frequently feel overwhelmed by the enormity of a task, which causes us to procrastinate. By doing this, we may deceive our minds into believing it to be less daunting than it actually is. How can we apply Kaizen in our lives? Step 1. Start small. Creating smaller, more doable activities is one way we may use Kaizen in our daily lives. When we have a lot on our plate and want to get everything done at once, it may be very daunting. Assume you are working on a significant project. Rather than becoming overwhelmed by the size of the project, divide it into smaller tasks and take each one on individually. This helps you feel more accomplished as you finish each stage and lessens the intimidating nature of the process. Step 2. Prioritize your goals. While each goal is significant, not all of them are as urgent or vital as others. You must thus split down your goals based on their significance and urgency. You will be able to prevent spending time on unimportant things by concentrating more on what really counts. Step 3. Use a daily planner. Using a daily planner or calendar is another efficient approach to apply Kaizen. Avoid giving in to the pressure of attempting to accomplish too much with too little. Establish daily objectives that are doable to begin with. Set attainable and well-defined objectives, such as finishing a chapter in a book you've been meaning to read or spending 20 minutes practicing a new skill. This will also assist you in monitoring your progress, which will inspire you to keep going. Step 4. Use sticky notes. Make a list of all the things you need to accomplish and hang them anywhere you'll see them frequently, like your fridge, table, door, laptop, mirror, or bed wall. You'll stay motivated and concentrated with this visual cue. Step 5. Set a timer for just 20 minutes. Give the work at hand your complete attention and concentrate for the duration of those 20 minutes. You'll be astounded at how much you can get done in such a short period of time. Step 6. Take short, regular breaks. It's okay to want to catch up on a lot of things, but it's not okay to become so caught up in the process of doing everything at once that you neglect to treat yourself to brief, frequent pauses in between. You'll become bored. Laziness is inevitable in places where there is boredom. As a result, take brief but frequent breaks. Give yourself a 5-minute break after working intently for 20 to 25 minutes at a time. It helps you sustain your energy and focus levels during the day. It's called the Pomodoro Technique. Step 7. Keep your environment tidy. Establishing a neat and uncluttered space is essential. Because having a tidy environment may greatly aid in mental decluttering and productivity enhancement. Therefore, before you begin working toward your goals, set aside a few minutes each day to clean up your surroundings. Step 8. Engage in physical activities. Including exercise in your routine increases your vitality and decreases your tendency to be lazy. It doesn't have to be a marathon, a little 10-minute exercise session or brisk stroll would suffice. Step 9. Invest in continuous learning. In Japan, there's a saying, Ganbat Kudasai, which means please do your best. It encourages us to always strive for improvement and never stop learning. Investing in self-improvement, by reading books, attending online courses, or looking for mentoring, is therefore essential to conquering laziness. Make gradual progress toward your goals by taking tiny measures every day. By doing this, you'll stay inspired and stop yourself from being lazy again. Step 10. Embrace the power of rituals. In Japan, they often practice a tea ceremony called Sado. It's a mindful and calming ritual that helps them focus and find inner peace. Discover what works for you and what motivates you, and make it a tradition. It may be drinking tea, journaling, or meditation. Finally. Step 11. Be consistent. Kaizen teaches us the importance of consistency. 
It's important to integrate healthy habits into our everyday routines rather than just doing something once and hoping for miracles. Furthermore, by persistently pursuing our goals, no matter how tiny the steps, we gradually gain momentum, develop discipline, get rid of laziness from our lives, and bring about long-lasting transformation. So there you have it, the Japanese technique for overcoming laziness, Kaizen. Remember, it all comes down to making tiny adjustments each day, segmenting work into doable chunks, learning new things constantly and investing in your own development, being organized and consistent, and figuring out what works for you. Let's conquer laziness together. I hope you found this technique as helpful as I did. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to try it out. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more productivity tips to help keep your hope alive. And as always, keep striving for greatness. Ganbat Kudasai. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Your hope is alive.